Subject Social Studies Class 8 Lesson Plan Civics Lesson Minus 1 The Indian Constitution Q1 What do you understand by constitution? Answer It is a set of rules by which the government rules our country. Q2 Why does a country need a constitution? Answer Country is made up of different communities, beliefs, and ideas. A constitution helps to create a set of rules and regulations to govern the country. It sets certain ideals that a country believes in. It defines the nature of country's political system, structure of government, composition, and set guidelines that govern the decision-making process. Constitution lays down the rules that guard against the misuse of authority by our political leaders and safeguards citizens from discrimination. Constitution ensures that minorities are not excluded or dominated by the majority. Q3. Write the steps leading to framing of our constitution. Answer. In 1934 the INC demanded formation of constituent assembly. They reasserted the same at the time of Second World War. In December 1946 finally Constituent Assembly was formed. Between December 1946 and November 1949, the Assembly drafted a constitution for independent India. Q4. How does constitution ensure that the minorities' interests are protected? Answer. Constitution ensures that a dominant group does not use its power against other less powerful groups. Unhealthy situation can occur in democratic societies. The constitution ensures that minorities are not excluded from any privileges. It also prevents tyranny or domination of majority over minority. Q5. How is constitution act as a safeguard against wrong decisions and save us from ourselves? Answer. Constitution is a safeguard against wrong decisions as it protect us from decisions that might have an adverse effect on larger principles that a country stands for. X. Sometimes in a democracy people are not happy with party politics and want a strong dictator. They may not realize that dictatorship might be against their interests in long run. A constitution does not allow these whims to change its basic structure. Q6. What were the characteristics of the constituent assembly? Answer. To work out the ways of setting up a democratic government in India, a constituent assembly was formed in 1946. It had around 300 members who met for next three years to write India's constitution. There was an extraordinary sense of unity amongst the members of the constituent assembly. Each of the provisions of the future constitution was discussed in detail. There was a sincere effort to compromise, reach and agree through concession. Q7. What were the challenges before the constituent assembly? Answer. The assembly was made up of different communities on the basis of languages, religion and distinct cultures. India was going through a turmoil due to eminent partition of the country into India and Pakistan. Unhelping attitude of the princely states on the dismal of socio-economic condition of the vast mass of people. Q8. What are the key features of our constitution? Answer. Q9. Explain the federal system of India. Answer. In India we have governments at the state level and the centre. Panchayati Raj is the third tier of the government. Each state enjoys autonomy in exercising power on certain issues. On subjects of national concern require that all of these states follow the laws of the central government. The constitution contains the list that detail the issues that each tier of government can make laws on. The constitution also specifies the source of income for each level of government. Q10. How do the people of India have a direct role in electing their representatives? Answer. 
The Constitution of India guarantees universal adult franchise for all the citizens irrespective of caste, color, creed or religion. This means that people of India have a direct role in electing their representative and also contest the elections irrespective of social, economic background. These representatives are accountable to the people of India. Q11 The constitution ensures the balance of power between different organs of government. Explain Answer In order to prevent the misuse of power by any one branch of government, the constitution has divided the powers between the three organs. Each organ acts as a check on the other organ and ensures the balance of power. Q12 What did the Constituent Assembly fear? Answer Constituent Assembly feared that the executive might become too strong and ignore its responsibility to the legislature. Therefore, included several provisions in the constitution to limit and control the actions taken by the executive branch of government. Q13. Why are the fundamental rights referred as conscience of the constitution? Answer. The section of fundamental rights has often been referred as as the conscience of the Indian constitution. As it protects citizens against the arbitrary and absolute exercise of power by the state. The constitution guarantees the rights of individuals against the state as well as against other individuals. Q13. How do fundamental rights have to fold objectives? Answer. The two-fold objective of fundamental rights are. Every citizen must be in a position to claim these rights. These rights must be binding upon every authority having power to make laws. Q14. What is human trafficking? Answer. Illegal practice of buying and selling of different commodities across national borders. It refers to illegal trade of human beings, particularly women and children. Q15. Define. Secular secular means a country has no state religion and people are free to follow any religion. Sovereign means a country is free and its people are not subordinate of any other power.